Hello everyone, let's look at our BLGPS P6 revision booklet on pie chart. Worksheet 1. Question 1. The pie chart shows the proportion of money given to each of Mr. Lee's family members when they won a prize money from a lucky draw. So this is a pie chart. Let's look at the pie chart. From this pie chart, we notice that there is a right angle here. And we know when we see a pie chart with a right angle, important thing, we put down one quarter. Okay, when it is a right angle, we know it is either is one quarter, 25% or 0.25, right? So we put one quarter here. Now, we realize also that the pie chart, the units are in percentage. So one quarter is my 25%. Our, the wife here is in decimal. So we can change the decimals to percentage with times 100%. And I will get 44%. So, youngest daughter, I will take 100%, minus 13%, minus 25%, minus 44%, minus 6%, which is 12%. So, youngest daughter receive 12%. Now, now, let's solve the question here. If Mr. Lee's wife received $528, so wife is $528, so I know wife is 44%. So for A, I know 44% is $528. And is 528. So 1% will be 528 divided by 44, which is $12. And I want to find the youngest son. So youngest son, 6% here. So youngest son is 6%. I take $12 times 6. $72. So I know the youngest son received $72. Let's look at B. Mr. Lee's youngest daughter received $156 less than the eldest daughter. So there are two different methods that I can do. I can first find the youngest daughter. I want to find the youngest daughter. I can use this. I've already found 1% is $12. I want to find youngest daughter. So B I know my youngest daughter is 12%, so 1% is my $12. 12% will be 12 times 12, which is 144. Okay. Alternatively, we look at the eldest daughter. Eldest daughter is 25%. So alternative, I use another color. For my alternative, let me use red. Okay, so B here. Yeah. Um, my 1% is my $12. I know my eldest daughter is 25%. So 25% will be $12 times 25 equals to $300. And the youngest daughter received $156 less than the eldest daughter. So I take 300 minus 156 and my answer is 144. Question 2. The pie chart shows how Miss Wee spends her monthly income. AOB is the diameter. So AOB is the diameter. What is the diameter? Means it's half the circle. And we know half the circle is how many percent? Yes, the whole thing will be 50%. Because the rest are in percentage. Miss Wee spends one quarter of her salary on clothes and transport. Which means, this clothes and transport, these two add up to 25%. We know that one quarter is 25%, right? The amount spent on food is $200 less than rent. Okay, now before we even find the food, let's look at the our percentage. So I know that this is half. So these two is rent and clothes is 50%. The food plus savings plus transport is also 50%, right? Now, let's look at clothes now. I know my rent is 50%. The rent and clothes is 50%. My rent is 35%. So my clothes, rent plus clothes 
is sorry, it's fifty percent. My rent is thirty five percent. So what is my clothes? So my clothes is fifty percent, right? So it's my clothes will be fifty percent minus thirty five percent, which is fifty minus thirty five. 15%. So I know clothes is 15%. Let me take another color. So clothes is 15%. How about my transport then? 25 minus 15, my transport is 10%. So how to find food? My food will be 50% minus 110 is 10%, right? So minus 10% for my savings and 10% for my transport. So food is 30%. So I will write down 30%. Okay, now let's solve the question. The amount spent on food is 200 less than the rent. So now I look at uh, the rent. I must compare the rent and the food. The rent is 35%. The food is 30%. So I take 35% minus 30% equals to 5%. So my 5% is the 200 less. Therefore, 1% would be 200 divided by 5 is $40. Okay. How much is a monthly income? So monthly income is the whole pie chart. The one whole, one whole is 100%. So 100% is $40 times 100, which is $400. So my monthly income is $400. Sorry, $4,000. Next, how much more money does she spend on food than on transport? So I know food is 30%, transport is 10%. So food, 30%. Minus 10%, which is 20%. So 1%, we have solved, it's $40. And 20% would be $40 times 20, which is $800. So how much more money? $800. Worksheet 2. The pie chart shows the different types of flats in a certain housing estate. The total number of flats is 1,600. What do I mean by total number? That means the whole is 1,600. Okay? And we know that, oh, there is this one quarter here, which is how many percent? Good job. It's 25%. So I know my three room and four room will be 100% minus 25% minus 35%, minus 35 which is 40%. So I write down here 40%. Okay, now let's solve. How many three room and four room flats are there? So I know the whole is my 100%, which is my 1,600. 1%, 1, 1,600, divide by 100, I get 16. So I want to find 40%. 16 times 40, which is 640 flats. So there are 600 and 40, 3 room, and 4 room flats. Question B. What is the difference between the number of 5 room flats and the number of condominiums? So I now to compare 5 room and condominium. 5 room is 35%, condominium is 25%. So I take 35% minus 25%. I want to find difference means I minus. I get 10%. So I know 1%. Is 16, 10% will be 16 times 10, which is 160. Question 2. The pie chart shows the number of people at a party. So this is the number, how many girls were there at the party. Now from here, we know that this is half, right? And what is half? I know... This is in fraction. Okay, this is one six. So half of six units. 
6 unit or 6 out of 6 huh? 6 out of 6 is 1 whole half will be 3 out of 6 so here we know that this and this is 3 6 this and this will be 3 6 so all together we get 6 out of 6 so I know 1 6 is boys woman is 2 6 because 3, three 6 minus 1 6 will be 2 6 Okay, and I know from here, two unit is my 30 women. So one unit will be 15. Right, so total number in half in the 3, 6 will be, so 3 unit will be 15 times 3, which is 45. So total there will be 45 people. So 45 minus 30 here, the women will get 15. So my boys is 15 boys. 30 girls, uh, 30 women, 15 boys. Alright, so this is also half. 3, 6, 3, 6. So total number will be also be 45. I want to find the number of girls. How to find the number of girls? 45 minus 10. We get 35 Question 3. The pie chart shows the types of fruits sold in a fruit stop, fruit shop. Sorry, The number of papayas is one-third the number of durians. So I know the papaya and the durian, this is one-third. Which means papaya, one unit, durian. unit okay now so I know this is one unit this is three unit so it's one third what fraction of the fruit so is durian so let's look at this durian and papaya occupies half right watermelon and pineapple also occupy half There are how many in half? 3 plus 1 is 4 unit. Half is 4 unit, the other half is also 4 unit. So total will be 4 unit plus 4 unit, 8 unit. 8 unit is the total. So how, how to find fraction of the food so is durian? Durian is only 3 units, so it's 3 out of 8. B. If there were 22 papayas, how many fruits were there all together? So I know that papaya is one unit. So one unit is 22. I want to find how many fruits all together. All together is 8 unit. 22 times 8. I will get 176 fruits. Question 3. The pie chart shows how Mr. Wong used his monthly salary. How much was his household expenditure? I want to find this household expenditure. Alright. So I know, oh, I have fraction and I also have percentage. So I would change all to fraction because one third is difficult to, to, uh, to change into percentage. So I leave everything in percentage, uh, in sorry, in fraction. So I have one third, I have a right angle. So house, housing will be one quarter. Eight percent will be eight out of 100. So I want to find household expenditure. So what is how to find? I take one whole minus housing, which is, sorry. One quarter minus eight out of hundred minus one third. And I would get hundred and one dollar. 101 out of 300. So my household is 101 out of 300. Okay, so from here, I also find that my one quarter, which is my whole 
my one unit here is my 1515 1, 1, 1, so my whole circle the whole pie will be 4 unit which is 1515 1, 1, times 4 and my whole is $6,060 his salary so this is the salary Okay, how to find the household expenditure? This is my whole, right? So 300, which is the, the denominator, is the whole, which is 6, the 1 unit would be 6060 zero, six zero divided by 300. And 101 unit would be And my answer would be $2,040.20. Question 2. The pie chart shows how the different types of flowers, shows the different types of flowers in a park. So different types, you have lilies, orchids, tulips, roses, four different types. Here has shown us that this is one quarter, one quarter, roses is 720. Can I find the tulips? Yes, I take one whole minus 1 quarter minus 1 quarter minus 720 and my tulips would be 15 out of 100 right so I take this is 15 out of 100 it I also can find in per in, in terms of percentage so let's level mind let's look at this I know that what is the percentage Oh, I want to find percentage. So 15 out of 100 times 100%. And I will get 15%. How many tulips are there? So I want to find tulips. My 1. So at first, I must find the whole, right? In order to find this, I must find the whole. Given to me is 324, which is 1 quarter. So 1 unit is 325 4 unit the total is 4 unit so total is 325 times 4 325 times 4 5 times 4 22 times 4 8 plus 9 10 13 okay and I want to find so 15 how many tulips are there is 15 out of 100 times 1300 15 times 3 would be 195 tulips the pie chart shows the favorite spots of a class of 40 pupils so I know the whole is 40 Total of 23 pupils chose football and basketball. So football and basketball. Football is one quarter. As their favorite sports. So this and this football plus basketball equals to 23 pupils. How many pupils chose volleyball so I know this is a whole whole is 40 this is one quarter so this is also another one quarter I know from here this is the diameter which means this is half this two is also half one whole is 40 half will be 20 so football is 10 20 divided by 2 will be 10 but Badminton is also 10. So how do I find basketball? I take 23 pupils minus 10, which is 13 pupils. So basketball is 13. How many pupils chose volleyball? I take 20 minus 13. Answer is 7 pupils. Pie chart shows the number of different types of vehicles produced by manufacturing company last year. So, 
1,200 cars were manufactured. So I know cars, 1, 2, 0, 0. I write here. How many vans were manufactured now? Here I have in percent, here I have in fraction. So I can change my fraction to percent. So 2 fifth times 100%. 100 divided by 5 is 20, so I know it's 40%. So I know my car is 40%. From here, I know my 40% is my 1,200. So 1% 1 would be 1,200 divided by 40. I get 30. I want to find the number of van. How to find the number of van? So number of van is 100% minus 32% for the lorry minus 22% for motorcycle minus 40% for the cars and my van is 6% so I find 6% will be 30 times 6 answer 180 so 180 vans were manufactured here worksheet 4 pie chart represents the amount of time spent on revision by wheeling okay so now here one quarter If Wheeling spent 30 minutes revising her English, so Eng English is 30 minutes. So what I can can I do? Right? So I can find the whole, right? How much she spent from all the languages. So one unit is 30 minutes. Four unit would be 30 times 4, 120 minutes or 2 hours. So how much she for revision altogether is 2 hours. Very straightforward. Question 2. The pie chart shows 500 fruit trees planted by a farmer. So I know this whole thing, the whole, is 500 trees. Farmer increased the percentage of rambutan trees by 80%. So I know that I have to convert all to percentage. So this is mango trees, 28%. Durian trees will be my durian would I take 7 out of 20 720 times 100% which is 35% and my rambutan trees would take 100% minus 28% minus 35% which I will get 37% so thirty seven percent. First I need to find I need I need to know that my whole is my five hundred trees. So hundred percent is my five hundred trees. One percent will be my five trees and thirty seven percent would be thirty seven times five is hundred and eighty five trees. So I know at first the rambutan trees is 185. If the farmer increased the rambutan trees by 80%, so I want to increase this 185 by 80%. So this is my rambutan. Okay, at first is my 100%, which is 185. I want to increase by 80%, so I want to increase this amount. How to find this amount? We know that my 100% would be 185 trees. 1%, 185 divided by 100. 80% would get 185 divided by 100 times 80. And I would have 148. This 148 is the additional tree you add. 148 is the additional 3. I want to find what is the new total number. Total means I add my 148 to my total. So my at first, my total is 500 plus 148. So my total number of trees now would be 648 trees. Question 3. The pie chart shows below represents the number of fishes in a, an aquarium. 
So there are one, two, three, four, five types of fish. There are five times as many goldfish as angelfish. Okay, so before that, let's look at whether we can find quarter or half. So if this is cut across, we know that this this is 180, right? Which is half. So swordfish and goldfish is 50%. Angelfish, guppies and mollies will also be 50%. So now let's look at this. We, we can see that swordfish is 10%, so goldfish will be 40%. Guppies, 10%. So 40 plus 10 will be 50. So this and this is also 50%. Can you see this? Okay. Now, there are five times as many goldfish as angelfish. So my goldfish is 5 unit. Go is to my angel fish. My go fish is five unit. My angel fish is one unit. My five unit is forty percent. One unit will be eight percent. So I know this is. 1 unit is 8%, I will write down 8%. Okay, this is half. So how to find guppies? Guppies is 50% minus 10% minus 8%, which is 32%. So my guppies is 32%. Because 8 plus 32 plus 10 will give me the other 50. I'm looking at this half. Okay, now let's look at the question. Give what fraction of the fish in the aquarium are guppies? So guppies, 32%. So it's 32 out of 100%, which is 8 out of 25 in the simplest form. If there are four sort tails in the aquarium, sort tail, so my 10%, sort tail is 4, right, given here. So 10% is 4 guppies. Four sort tails, how many goldfish are there? So goldfish is 40%. So 1%, 4 out of 10, 40%, 4 out of 10 times 40, you get 16. So answer is 16 goldfish. We have come to the end of the solution for the pie chart. Goodbye.